Hey, good morning, everyone. I hope you had an amazing weekend. So Sylvie Dow from Dow Training Systems and Coach Sylvie. And here at our fabulous Gold Crusher Tribe page, are you ready for a Monday morning workout? So super excited about today. But before we get started, these are the things you're going to need. So make sure you have your arena strength bands. We're going to be using them today. So if you haven't re got these or you don't have any bands, there's a link above where you can get my unique link and rebate. So get yourself some of those. You get three of them. So easy, mid, and hard. So you need those. You're going to need a band today. You're going to need your stability ball and something to do tricep dips on. So you can just do them straight from the floor or if you have a sturdy chair close by or stairs um, or a solid coffee table, you can use stuff like that or maybe the couch. So depending where you're working out, make sure you have something close by for your dips, your dumbbells, or if you still have your elastic band, you can just use that. Or if you don't have anything, you can always use some cans from the pantry. So, are you ready? Have I gone through everything? All right, so we're gonna start with our legs. I've got everything written down in front of me so I know exactly what we're doing. So we got lunge, front, and back, so that's a right and left. So this total workout is gonna be about, oop, where's my Tabata timer? About 36 minutes. You know, I always say it's 30 minutes, but if we double up on some, it's always extra minutes going on there, and I do a lot of instruction in between. So, you know, you have to think about that, and where are we, yeah, we're 36. All right, so we got our Tabata timer ready. All right, so we're going to do sumo squats front and back, um, and then we're going to do side kick with our band, so it's right and left and then sumo squat with the dumbbell, okay? Then arms, bicep curl with the bands, and single arm shoulder press, so we're gonna really focus on that shoulder. Um, dips, so I was talking about the tricep dips, and then next for abs is downward dog toe touch. Ooh, this is a new one. And then a reverse plank, knee up, so we're gonna work on that, and then crunch flutter click. Kick. So we're going to put it all together, really working on those abs. And I hope that you've been, if you've been following me along, I was just showing my results on uh, social that, you know, eight weeks, so two months, you can get results. If you work out hard and you've got good nutrition behind you, anything and everything is possible. So hope with that. You join me for the 30 day health and workout challenge, which you're already doing the workouts, but just incorporating the nutrition part. So are you ready? Let's get started. We have 90 seconds of warm up. So whatever that is for you, definitely you have to get your shoulders, your hips, your legs working and make sure you have your water close by. All right. So I like jumping jacks, anything to get your shoulders warm, your hips, ankles, knees. And I don't know how you were feeling after last, last week's series of workouts, but my legs were tired. I gave them a good rest yesterday. I did go cycling on Saturday, which was good. I'm telling you, um, if you're a cyclist, a runner, hiker, these workouts are amazing for building strength in your legs and cardio. Um, I've just been feeling super strong on my bike and lighter, which makes a huge difference. Carrying less weight, more muscle. It's a win-win when you're getting into exercise. Even if you're a seasoned or new athlete or someone who's been training for a while, 
It all makes a huge impact when you build muscle and release that. Mm. Okay, so, whew, you should always be sounding like me after your workouts. So, your muscles should be warm, your heart rate's up. All right, so lunge forward, backwards. So this is the right and left, so basically forward and make sure you have enough space behind. So forward and behind. Boom, we might add the, the band at the, at the third, or we, might, we can add some dumbbells. So, okay, side kick. So you're gonna need this. Okay, we're gonna get to the floor. You're gonna wrap it around your foot. You're gonna hold it. You're gonna lean in and you're gonna kick out and in. Okay, so if you have your band, you can control the resistance you're placing on it, right? You can make it tighter, you can make it easier. So that's a right and left. And then we have our sumo squat. So dumbbell, kettlebell, jug of water, and up. And up. So really thrusting the hips forward, okay? So that's our series for the legs. Are you ready? So if you're new to this, um, I'll instruct you along. Take your time, take your rest as you need, and let's get rolling and back. So nice back lunge, so forward, dropping the knee, and you're gonna need lots of space for your back, forward, back. And I'm gonna go this way because I've got way more space to do my lunges, especially back. You want to like really stretch. So you got 20. Whew. Feel it in my quads. So this is also a good time to take stock of where you are at. Maybe take progress pictures, measurements, stuff like that. It all really counts, especially as a woman, we tend to sometimes not lose weight but gain muscle so that means that the scale isn't necessarily going to change so you want to be taking those measurements of your waist diaphragm waist thighs biceps and keeping a record so forward backwards so if you need to rest take a little rest break good feel it the glutes all right three two one all right Let's, I'm going to start on my weak leg, because I always start on my strong leg. So right here, ready, holding in, and you're going to kick out and in. And in, out. Boom. Boom. So really kick out with that heel and in. Good, I can really feel it back here. Boom. Boom. So if you want to tighten it, like I said, you can definitely do that. Put more pressure on your band. Oh. I always feel awkward on one side over the other. All right. Other side. So if you happen to have these little bands, you can use them as well. You just can't. You can't adjust the resistance as much. 
So really kick out. Good, holding that band and breathe and kick and in. Boom, straight out. Good, always think about the core, keeping that tight. So remember, this is 50 seconds, so you get as much done in the hit time that we have. And breathe. Good. All right. Grab some water. Okay, sumo position. So I do have jugs of vinegar here. So if you happen to be, that's all you have, and that's all you have. So toes pointed out and up. So you can hold your dumbbell. This, you can get a deeper squat and up. Toes out, back. Straight and up. Thrust the hips forward, tighten the glutes, and out. So nice straight back. Boom. Good. Oh yeah, 13. Down and up. Down and up. Right back on those heels. Good, breathe. Whew. All right, round two done. Okay, so let's grab a light arena strength band and we're gonna do this. So forward and backwards. Okay, so the next one, we're gonna bring the second, the mid range. Band. So what's nice about having them is that we can progress and yeah they're gonna move up because your legs aren't like there's a um, like they're not fully extended you know so they're always gonna so like this it won't move this you're moving around and there's slack and so it's gonna travel up all right, Whew. look at those glutes. All right, let's go, number two. Forward and backwards. Good, keep those shoulders back. Excellent, and adjust. Good. So you can feel the difference. A little extra resistance. Never hurt on the glutes. Especially when we're getting closer to June. I can't even believe it. Keep going. Ten. All right. So next round, we're going to throw in the harder one. Okay, woo, that side, all right, all right, and kick out, and breathe out, and in, and think about core, engaging those abs at the same time. Never forget them. Good. Halfway done the set. Oh yeah. You feel it. This leg is always more awkward than the other. Kick out. Boom. Tighten those glutes. Oh yeah. Think about that summer butt. Side. I don't know, the side just feels better. Boom. Boom. 
Excellent. Keep it going. 18. And out. I'm going to get a little tighter. And breathe. Woo! All right. Awesome. Round two done of those. Let's get our. All right, toes out and down and up. Clute, like really squeeze those glutes. Breathe out. In and out. Good. Excellent. stuff. Keep it going. 17. <sighs> Round two almost done. <sighs> Keep it going. That's right. Five. <sighs> Whew. Whew. Can you feel that one? All right. So we're back to our lunge. Number three. Bringing out <clears throat> the medium arena strength band and do it oh yeah we keep this one in place i think good keep it going Way done. Oh yeah. yeah. This one you can really feel it. So remember, take your breaks when you need. Boom. Breathe. All right. Now we got the other side. Grab some water. Mm. Mm. All right, let's do this. In and back. Front and back. Front and back. Oh, good. Next time we do this, we should use all three of these bands. The last one is super tight. 20. Come on. Almost done. Good. Stretch it back. Step forward. Stretch it back. And awesome. Woo! Okay. Let's grab our band. Down the floor. Drop around your foot, breathe in and kick out. Boom. Boom. Straight out. Good. This is number three. So we're almost done this series of leg workouts. Keep it going. Kick it. Make that band a little harder. Yeah. Kick it out. Kick it out. Woo. All right. Other side. Oh, yeah. Can you feel that? going. Yeah. 
that those glutes start feeling that that little divot in your butt cheeks. Twelve. Come on, kick. Almost done round three. Good. All right. All right, put that aside. Okay, so if you were using your heavier weight, I'm gonna ask you to drop it down because we're gonna do some shoulder raises for the last set. And up. Down and up. Down. And up, down, and up. So it's nice, you know, you can just diversify and make um, our exercises just a little bit harder on the last round. Like I always say, this is the time when your muscles are the warmest and you can pull out like a heavier set with heavier weights. Keep going. Oh yeah. That was awesome. Okay, let's go through the, um, we're just gonna explain what's going on for our upper body. We're just gonna tilt this down a little bit. Okay, so, we have, oh, maybe not. Sorry about this. Make sure you see my head for this one. <laughs> I apologize. Okay, so we're gonna get our band. Um, so for a lot of people who don't have heavier weights at home, like, you know, above 12, this is where it's nice. You're gonna add your band. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna use my 12s. Here, actually, I'm going to start with 10s and progress to 12s. Okay, so you're going to have, you step on your band, you're going to grab your weights right here, so your palms are out, and you're going to curl. So you're going to add extra resistance to your, your lighter weights, okay? So that's going to give you an extra burn, and it's also going to make them harder. So this is a way you can make your Weights harder, you add a band. Okay, so now single arm, and we're gonna be focusing right and left. So sitting on your stability ball, and I'm gonna start with 12s, and it's basically a shoulder press. Okay, so right and left, really focus on that one arm, and Bring your elbow down so it's in a 45 degree and up. Okay, so that's right and left. And then we're going to move to our chair over here. This is what I'll do is I'll just tilt everything this way. Is you're going to get your medium strength arena strength band and you're going to put it here. You're gonna dip and out. Up, dip, out, up, dip, out, up. Okay? So that's what we're doing for our arms. So I'm just gonna leave that there. I'm gonna stick that there. And we're going to start with our biceps. So let's start get our Okay, so I'll put my foot, I'm gonna grab my bands, and there we go. So I can tell that one is a little bit less strong than the other. So sometimes it takes a while to get the bands right because, and, but we got 50 seconds, right? We got enough to do 10 plus uh, reps. <sighs> Ooh, this makes it a lot harder. <sighs> so 10 and hold down and hold down and hold. Okay. Okay, 
So I'll get my stability ball here. I'm gonna get my 12 pounds. And I'm gonna start with my weaker side. And we're just gonna press up. Good, really focusing on the shoulders here. Boom, straight up, sitting on the stability ball. Adds a little um, core engagement. And let's do this. Up, yeah. You don't want anything too heavy here. So if you have a lighter um, dumbbell, then you can tempo up. One, two, three. One, two, three, down. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, down. Out, breathe out, breathe in. And in. Good. Excellent. Whew. All right, that's just long enough. All right, don't forget to take your rest. Remember in each one of these sets, make sure that you know you listen to your body, take your rest when you need. Good. And press up. So, for those who still have a full house, I hope you're getting in these workouts before the day starts, before the kids wake up. Good. Press. 15. Let's do this. So try not to drop your elbow all the way down. You want to keep it level with your shoulder. So that's, again, why a, having a mirror close by is super awesome for keeping track, right? Okay, let's do this. So dip and out. So when you dip, I want you to go track really closely to whatever it is you're dipping off of and not out. So you're really using your triceps over your shoulders. So as we go down, we're gonna press out the legs, bring it in and up. Oh yeah, 20. So take your rest as you need. Excellent. Keep it going. Woo. Oh, but you, my glutes are feeling that. All right, round two. Okay, so let's grab our dumbbells with our bands and let's go up and down. I love this because you're pulling up, holding, and you have to control on the way down. I find it a little bit more effective than just straight using your dumbbells. Good, 20. Oh yeah, this burns a lot more. Hold and down. So you want to contract. And down. Good, six. Awesome. All right. Let's go to our shoulder press. Oh, let's start with this way. Awesome. Tempo up and tempo down. So three stages. One, two, three, zero, hold. One, two, three, zero, hold. One, two, three, zero. One, two, three, down, zero. So it really increases the resistance. You can feel how warm your muscles are getting from working hard. Take our rest, of course.
hours. Good, keep going. Halfway done. Our round two. Good, so remember engaging those abs while you're sitting on the stability ball. Good, power up and down. over here. Let's engage those abs. Our abs. Abs, arms. Down and up. So as you're dipping, you're pressing out. And the further your legs are, the harder it is. So press and in. Feel those arms, those triceps working. Remember we did so many last week. Take a break when you need. Good. Press it in. Oh my gosh. All right, last round. This goes so fast. Incredible. All right. Out. Make sure they feel kind of the same. And hold and down, keeping that core tight. One, two, three, down. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, down. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, down. <sighs> All right. Woo! All right, let's move on. Shoulders. seconds. <laughs> so we're almost finished our round two, or oh, round three actually. Jeez, we're going to be on to arms or abs. <sighs> oh yeah. Come on. Five. All right, Ooh. let me take my break, grab some water. Up and down. And don't forget, Mondays were made for cleansing. So yes, you can work out when you cleanse. I'm cleansing. Good. Make sure you have your coffee first. <laughs> and down. So Two, three, up, one, two, three, down, one, two, three, up, one, two, three, down. So yeah, so Monday's cellular cleanse day. I drink a, a combination of botanics that include aloe, um, which are really good for cleansing the kidneys and the liver with other amazing products. Oh, ingredients, I mean. Whew. All right, let's 
Get our band on. Whew. All right, let's do this. Let's finish up those arms. Let's stretch out those legs. Out. Good. So make sure you're going straight down and not out. Stuff guys. Oh, 14. Go. Come on, let's do this. Blast those triceps and those glutes a little bit more. Yeah. All right. So let's move this over here and down and Let's clean up our space so we have room for our abs. Okay. Let's put our stability ball out of the way. All right. So, first one is downward dog, toe touch. Okay? So, downward dog like this. And you're going to reach over and cross touch your ankles okay so that's the first one and then we go into a plank so a reverse plank so up like this okay so you can either extend your legs out i try this have a little bit of pressure on my knee but you could try it so it's basically like this knee up and down i felt it better to be in more of a plank position like this, bring the knee up and out, up and down, up, out, up and down, up, out, up and down. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. And then the last one is you're gonna be in a crunch position like this and you're gonna flutter like this. Okay, so really pressing that back down to the floor and scissors out in, but down close to the floor. Okay, so that's the big challenge, is the last one. All right, let's grab some water, and let's go. Up, so I'm in here. And you just reach over. Keep your core tight and reach. Touching those ankles. I want you to think about contracting your abs while you're here. It might seem easy for like maybe the first 20, but 50 seconds, you can really start feeling it in your abs. Because you're really targeting those obliques as well. All right. So, reverse, up, this. So, in, out, in, down. In, out, in, down. So I want you to think about really holding those abs tight, not dropping your bum. Good, keep it going. Really extend that leg in. to the ceiling, out, keep the legs down, 
Really press that back. Scissors out. Take the rest we need. Oh god. Oh, ten, six, fifteen. Oh. All right, this is the hardest out of the three, definitely. Five. Keep it going. Come on, come on. All right. Good. Anything. Just work in those abs every day. Okay. okay. Widen those legs. More of a stretch. plank. So up, in, out, in, down, in, out, in, down, in, out, bring it down, in, up. Down, in, out, in, down, in, out, in, down. Keep those abs tight. legs down. Right, keep that back press to the floor. Good. Oh, keep going guys. This one's damn hard. Reaching across. Breathing. Good. Fifteen. Last one. Good. 
core tight, keep the bum up. If you can, you can just go from the floor, I should have said that earlier. Um, out, in. Keep it going. Ten. Perfect. All right. One more to go. Whew. Let's do this. Down. Engage. Legs up. And let's do this. Really focus on trying to flatten your back to the floor. Keep the legs close so you're working lower and upper abdominal area. Come on, let's do this. Last one. Finish it up. 24. Oh, yeah. oh, press and lift. Don't forget, tomorrow is BOSU. We're going to be working on the BOSU this week, Tuesday, Thursday. And if you want more information about cleansing right, doing it right, let me know because we have an amazing little cleanse and shake pack for you. Um, it's in the comments. Um, mm. But let's cool down. Where's our stability bow? Oh, ooh, ow. That little last uh, ab work was uh, good. All right, let's stretch it out. Stretch those arms and those abs. Out. And side. All right, perfect. Just gonna have to. Finish it up before my phone dies. <laughs> All right, let's get into that leg stretch. So holding onto that ball, stretch deep. Good and up. Oh yeah. If you need to stretch a little bit longer, spend more time there. Now let's flop over. like it's feeding time for the cats upstairs. All right, let's put this aside. I'm gonna stretch our calves. So bring your band out. All right, remember how important this is, is for runners and cyclists and anybody really who has it challenged with flexibility is it's a work in progress it's just like building muscle you got to slowly stretch out those legs every every day okay you know you want to just sort of push a little bit further and extend stretch a little bit and extend okay until the point where you've got it fully down you can straighten your leg, okay? So I know a lot of people, runners, cyclists, super tight here. Maybe if you sit at the office uh, in a chair an awful lot. All right, excellent. So last one is my favorite. And Just stretching so you know everything from the back forward is good. So this is something um, you want to work 
towards in your stretching and your flexibility. So with that, high five, high ten. Have an amazing Monday. And we'll see you tomorrow for some BOSU work. Yeah.